gonna do bonus cut now. Trying to use someone who's a bit more mainline. Engine. I'm gonna use Ripperu. I like Ripperu. I was just thinking he's a really cool character. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have this one. We're gonna have the tentacles. Yeah. And we're gonna have uh, the thing in black. Yeah, so they stand out and we change the wheels. So the right wheels. Gotta be the right wheels. And we're gonna change this to. Let's have a picture of the face if we have it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I can't remember. Crash Nitro Kart, did it have different pickups and weapons? Because none of them transferred over except for like the Velo mask for Velo characters. Uh, I don't know where they went, if there were any, or if they couldn't be balanced, or if they were literally like that game was just so copy-paste that it didn't have any new ideas. Because it's been a long time since I played that game, and I'm not going to go and wiki it now, I'm too lazy. Um, yeah, that was a <laughs> weird-ass time. Oh yeah, this is the Spyro circuit. It's actually really nice, and it has all of the things I like from the first Spyro game, including those happy little wizards. You know, this is like a. This really is a game of which is like careful what you wish, what you wish for. Because uh, I used to say to people, man, wouldn't it be great if you could just they remastered Crash Team Racing and you could play it online and like go to your characters and stuff. And I got that, and then it just kept going and going and going to the point that like every character, and I was like getting to the point like. I don't think I enjoyed this as much as I thought I would join in my head. It's still great, but like it's so. Like... Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, he tried to do his feet because his arms are wrapped up. I think that's nice detail. That was in the first game. Well, that was very really cool. Talking about, yeah, let's talk about weird platformers on the PS1. Anyone else remember Rascal? Rascal was hard. I remember my parents going ballistic. It was back in the day when we had a PlayStation 1 and my parents would play it with me. And they got pissed. <laughs> like a lot of the time. I could do Spyro. I could do a bit of the Crash Bandicoot. I know, like, back in those days, they had the mentality that I kind of resurrected now for myself to save money, which is, you have to beat the game before you buy another game. And they were like, we weren't, we aren't going to buy Crash Bandicoot 2 until we beat Crash Bandicoot 1. We got Crash Bandicoot 1 so late though, and it took us so long, and you, I, I mean 100% all gem secret ending unlocked, all the keys kind of thing. We got everything, and by that time Crash Bandicoot 3 was out. And, like, you know, one day my dad came back from work, having stopped by to pick up Crash Bandicoot 3, like, well, we beat the first one, so let's get this one, not realizing it was number 3. Because if you remember the box art, the 3 was quite subtle on Crash Bandicoot Walk. Walked in big letters, but the number 3, 3, so I played them out of order. Um... And like, we played two afterwards, after beating and 100% of the three. Uh, but like, yeah, let's talk about Rascal. We down, we got Rascal. Oh. That guy blew me up. Oh, my controller. Controller stuff. There we go. Oh, well, I'm, I've lost this. <laughs> Dodgy USB, I need to use a different USB cable. Hey, man, it's beginning of the LP, so it's gonna have a lot of problems. <laughs> oh, 
Hey, birds don't fast from seven. And my controller failing. So, um. Yeah, so we got Rascal and Croc. I really like Croc. And it wasn't until recently Seb said to me, Oh, yeah, you realize Croc was a rejected Yoshi game? And like, they pitched it towards Nintendo saying, Hey, you can make a full 3D platformer. And they'd already made it, basically, or something. And they pretty much had it done. And they would. And then Nintendo was like, We don't want to make a Yoshi game like this. And it was going to be called something like Yoshi's Island or like. No, not Yoshi's Island, it was going to be called something similar though, like Yoshi 3D or Yoshi Island 3D. Um, <clears throat> and they rejected it, so they just went and plonked it <clears throat> on the PlayStation, and it never occurred to me, because like I said, I was a Sony fanboy and I didn't have enough money for multiple consoles back then. And uh, I was just like, this is a cool character, they should bring him back, and I realised that they probably can't. <laughs> um, this is a cool one as well, I like this. This is for Halloween, I think. You know. From just looking at it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, uh, so that was quite good fun, but Rascal was horrible. It was angular, there was loads of swimming sections with, like, really, really punishing, like, oxygen levels in the underwater sections. It was just not great, and it, it, it aged poorly now. But nowadays, I talk to people about that, and everyone's like, I don't know this game. Um, I also played Polonoa, the first one, but I used to call it as a kid Polonioa or something, because I couldn't say it, and no one really knew how it was, because it was like a really niche game. And like, nowadays, I say to people, do you remember? And they're like, I don't remember what this game Oh, what else was it about? Like, the Rascal was the worst. Um, that was just awful. We never beat it. We just gave up. Um, played Spyro 1 and 2, didn't play Spyro 3, didn't really enjoy Spyro 3, thought Spyro 3 was actually the weakest in the game, but I'm often told that other people think it's the best. I was like, no nah, man, I preferred Spyro 1 and 2, because they were their own thing. Spyro 3 was just like, he's skateboarding now or something, and like, I just didn't like it. I beat it later on the PS3, because I bought the, like, Spyro collection that was the PS3. Um, yeah, that was, that was a laugh, but I, like, I basically ran through it. I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to get through the game to set on it. And I did it, and I was like, okay, then. Um, didn't do everything in it. So I've mentioned Rayman before. There was another one we had, and it was awful. I can't remember which one it was now. It was bad though. It was like the worst. Yeah, if anyone remembers Rascal, please remind me. So I can barely remember anything about that game except it was bad. <laughs> like, you know, it wasn't fun. But I remember back in those days, my parents would, like, legit be playing stuff uh, with me. And I think that was, like, the only time they really played it. And then they just lost interest really hard because it was, like, oh, yeah, I don't have time for this anymore. And they used to get really, like, dad, my dad used to get mad pissed at Crash Bandicoot. He played all the Tomb Raiders, I mentioned that before, he played Tomb Raider, and he really enjoyed them. Uh, he got all the secrets and stuff, and he was like, one of those guys, like me, who gets obsessed, and then it was like, I need to 100% everything just to say I did everything. We had, well, back then, we had the walkthrough, the glossy walkthroughs and stuff, and we were just going through the whole game, finding everything. Because back in those days, you couldn't just go, oh, I'm just going to look at the walkthrough online on the wiki. You had to buy the solid, glossy thing. I mean, I was still doing that for Gran Turismo back in, like... I bought Gran, Gran Turismo 4, I think it was, on the PS2. And I'd never played... Like, I had, oh, I do have Gran Turismo 1 on the 
PS1, but I was just playing it like as a kid, like, oh look, a car, I drove it. And like, I was terrible. Because <laughs> I was a kid. And, um, you know, I got to like, um, I got Gran Turismo 4 on the PlayStation 2, and I had never properly played a racing simulator before, and I just didn't know what I was supposed to do, you know, buying used cars and like racing them and stuff. I don't really know what I was supposed to do in getting all the licenses. So I basically just got a walkthrough that was a really nice walkthrough on really nice, like, really nicely put together that's had every car in the game and all of its stats, like, good ways to earn money in the game, like, um, which cars would be unlocked, like, which things, like, which events, um, like, what you can do to make the endurance races shorter, like, all sorts of stuff. But, like, big thing I don't like about those kind of racing simulator games was the endurance races. Um, where they're like, oh yeah, just play this for 24 hours straight, and then that's the only way you could unlock certain cars, and you were like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, like, that's a horrible thing to lock something behind. And then one of my mates, when I was in uni, had Grand Prix on five, uh, on the PS3, and he was doing a nine-hour endurance race, and he literally just sat down in our living room when we were rooming together, and played a nine-hour endurance race raw on his own. He wasn't using the B-Driver, he was driving it himself because he didn't trust the B-Driver and, like, you know, the AI to do it for him so he hadn't bothered to, like, get him up very well. So they're like little Tamagotchis, they're like AIs you have to, like, race, let them race in the background for a long time so that they get good. Uh, he didn't in four, but in, uh, like, uh, Five and stuff, you really did. Um, <laughs> wow, I'm losing from a big attention. Oh, I need to kick it up. Will I, will I be able to save this actually? Oh, first loss, first loss. So, yeah, like he straight up was like, he just. You know, he started at like 7 p.m. one night, and we we're like, all right, dude, we're going to go upstairs now. I'm going to go to my room and like, I don't know, I was playing Gears of War next to him, and then it was distracting him or something, and so I went up and watched some YouTube or something, or like a film, like Batman or something on my, and like the next morning, he was still there, and like that guy, man, he was like, first time away from his parents, and he was one of those guys who was like helicopter mummed a lot. Because the moment he was out of his parents, um, out of his parents, uh, like, viewpoint, he was just like, um, uh, he was just hopeless. Like, he, his parents were quite rich, uh, and they just gave him everything he wanted, but, like, they made sure that he, you know, and as a result, they made sure he was, like, you know, eating properly and stuff, and as a result, he had no life skills when he came to live with us, and like, I had a little, but I was learning all the time, because, you know, he was just cooking meat and drinking Mountain Dew, and was like, oh yeah, I'm fine, and he, like, as a result, he, like, had really poor health, and kind of stank and stuff, and, like, um, he was always trying to get girlfriends, uh, but, like, he didn't really, like, get very far with a lot of girls. Uh, I think he, like, when I first met him, which was, like, in the first and then the second year, he had two different girlfriends, and they were both, like, redhead girls, and they were like, I'm not really his girl. <laughs> I was just bored one time, and he was hanging out, so I started talking to him, and then, you know, uh, he, but he was a great guy, like, I liked him. Oh, he did that last time. Um, like, sometimes I can't read square things or Um, and like, you know, but he like, in the end, he uh, kind of messed up his like degree a lot. Because uh, he just, there were days where, there were weeks where we didn't see him. And he was just in online World of Warplanes tournaments and stuff. Upstairs in the room, pogging all the bandwidth. And he'd be like, everyone get off the internet. I need to like, 
do this thing. If I win, I'll get this money. And he kept coming up with weird things saying, oh, he was doing loads of proofreading and stuff. And we were like, dude, you're always up there. And he's like, oh, I just got to go and do this thing. I, you know, like, I'm, I'm napping. Like, he would just be, like, sleeping all the time. And, like, in the end, uh, I was helping him with his project a little bit, but not, like, in any, like, I wouldn't say I did any work for it. I was just, like, supporting him through the project because he didn't have any of the resources he needed. I ended up being one of the voice actors for his, uh, thing. Uh, one of our other flatmates was the, uh, secondary, like, engineer, because I must like, my degree was sound engineering or, like, kind of, like, film editing as well and that kind of stuff. And he was, like, not really, like, like, he did a lot of it himself. Like, I wouldn't sit there and say, I did that. I'm making it sound like, if he listens to this, he's kind of like, fuck you, but like, I'm... No, he did a lot of the stuff. Like, he did a lot of his work, but like, when it came down to it, I had all of these, like, blank discs, and I was recording entire albums from these discs. Like, I recorded an album for my uh, project, because that was, uh, I was doing multi-track recording and stuff. And, like, um... I had like a fat stack of discs, about a hundred blank discs, and he said, oh, hey man, yeah, yeah, can I borrow a disc off of you? And I was like, yeah, sure, totally. Uh, if it doesn't work, come back and tell me, because I've got like a hundred, and you want to take like a whole stack of them? And he was like, no, 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 I want to be okay. He copied his entire project to it, and it didn't read. Like, the guy who was like, marking him, didn't give him a second chance, which I think was a dick move. Uh, on that guy, because that, that professor that we had, he was a bit of an asshole when it came to like, guys like us. Um, this guy wasn't that popular with the lecturers, for some reason. Oh, I was second overall. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, as a result, he almost failed his entire year, and then he later said to me, it was my fault because I gave him a shitty disc, and I was like, dude, you had, like, I'd done my project, he had like another month to like get it in, he borrowed a disc then, quickly shoved it on, didn't check it or like triple check it in other devices to show it worked, and then went, oh it didn't read when he put it into the DVD player with the TV, now I'm being blamed, and like I was like, first of all, the lecturer should have allowed you to resubmit, he should have checked it beforehand and allow you to resubmit. You should have checked it beforehand. I told you you could have a stack of like media off of me for free. I like I had so many I was throwing them out because I moved to New Zealand after that. I wasn't gonna take them with me. Oh man. First time second. Well, not the first time. First time LP in second. Yeah, I never saw Ripper Roo's losing animation in this. It's pretty cool. He doesn't look like he has arms for real though, look. Anyways, stop looking at Papu Papu's ass. Yeah, that was a weird time in my life. You'll hear me say that a lot. Because <laughs> all my life is a string of weird times. <laughs>